Hello everyone, today I want to briefly talk about the walrus operator that was added in Python 3.8. The walrus operator is exactly this one. It's the um, colon followed by an equal sign and it is supposed to help us replace um, expressions like this one that are not really assigned to anything. So here we have, we just create some data which is random, random data, and I want to count how many times the number five occurs in that data, and I only want to do something with the um, amount of times, so specifically uh, the count, I only want to do anything with the count if it is non-zero, so if it evaluates to true in this Boolean context, and then I want to do something with it, and the thing that happens is that this expression, after it's evaluated, the value is not assigned to anything. So the, the, the result of this expression just falls apart, it evaporates. So since I want to in here, in this if statement, print the result of data.count, I need to call the data.count function again. And, um, this is for the count function, that's not a big deal, but there may be other functions that are much more expensive where calling the function twice is um, quite inconvenient. So here we have to then, after we already checked if data.count uh, evaluates to true, we have to assign it to a name and then we can print it with some extra string, for, uh, string stuff. We could alternatively also just put data.count5 in here, never assign it to anything, but in most cases that are not toy examples, so that are not as simple as th this one, you probably want to do more than one thing with this number, with the outcome of this expression, so you usually want to assign it to something. Now what the walrus operator does for us, it essentially combines the assignment and the evaluation of the expression into one statement. So this is now the statement with the walrus operator and we don't really need to assign n to the result of data.count, we can just use n because the walrus operator um, essentially says, take this expression, evaluate it exactly like it, it happens up here. The um, context of evaluation is exactly the same because both are if statements. But also, separately from this, while the evaluation of the expression is identical, there is the side effect that the result will be assigned to the name n. And then we can keep working with it um, in the if statement, but also below. So the scope of n is, is exactly the, um, the scope where the if statement happens n, and because if statements don't create their own local scope, the scope of n will be exactly the global scope, exactly the script scope. So, so much for this, that's it from my side. That's the Walrus operator in the description. Check out the official pep for the Walrus operator, and I see you in the next one.